In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this really simple and nice vintage fast zoom effect in Premiere Pro. All right, you can see I have created a full HD resolution sequence, which serves as the canvas for my project. At the beginning and end of the timeline, you will notice two distinct long video footages. Feel free to substitute these with any videos that resonate with your theme. In between these expansive clips, I have integrated 12 carefully selected short video clips, each designed to maintain a uniform length and consist of four visually engaging frames. This consistent structure ensures a harmonious flow throughout the sequence. As an alternative, you can also opt for images in place of the video clips, allowing for even more creative flexibility in your project. Firstly, let's focus on the first short video clip, and then let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the first shot. Again, we need to apply another effect. This is a brightness and contrast effect. Let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect onto the first shot. Once that's done, let's go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the first shot. Next, we need to create keyframes for the scale, brightness, and contrast parameters. You can do this by clicking on the stopwatch icons next to each parameter. Set the scale parameter to approximately 110, which will slightly enlarge the image. Following that, adjust both the brightness and contrast parameters to around 50. This adjustment will enhance the overall visibility and depth of the shot. Once these initial settings are in place, move the time indicator three frames forward. At this point, reset both the brightness and contrast parameters to zero by clicking on the reset parameter icons. This step will create a dramatic shift in the video's tonal quality. Lastly, adjust the scale parameter back to 100 by using the reset icons once again. Additionally, increase the shutter angle parameter to around 360 degrees, which will enhance the motion blur effect in your scene. Now we need to select all the effects that have been applied in the first video clip. Once selected, we will copy the effects. Next, we need to select the rest of the short video clips, including the last video clip, and we have to paste the copied effects on them. You can do this by holding the control or command key and pressing the V key on your keyboard. In the next step, we will focus on selecting all the short clips we want to enhance. Once selected, we will navigate to the effects panel, where a variety of visual enhancements await us. For this project, we will be applying a striking black and white effect. To do this, simply drag the black and white effect from the panel and drop it onto the highlighted layers. With these few straightforward actions, we have accomplished half of our desired effect, setting the stage for a dramatic transformation of our footage. In the next step, we have to add a quick shake effect to the last video clip. I already have the quick shake effect on my computer. You can download this effect using the link provided in the video description. The sound effect is included with the quick shake effect. The next step is to import the effect file into the project panel so we can begin integrating the quick shake effect into our timeline. All right, you can see we have imported the quick shake effect inside the project panel. Before we drag and drop the shake effect into the timeline, make sure this small sequence icon is disabled. After that, we need to highlight the video layer two, three, and the audio layer one. Next, we have to drag and drop the quick shake effect onto the timeline and place it at the beginning of the last video clip. All right, it's time to add a vintage overlay and sound effect. I have already got the vintage overlay and sound effect on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. Firstly, let's drag and drop the vintage overlay into the timeline and place it on top of the video clips. Next, let's select the overlay, and then we need to select set to frame size to adjust the resolution. After that, move over to the effect controls panel, and then click on the blend mode drop down menu and select the multiply mode from the list. Finally, we need to incorporate the sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create this really simple and nice vintage fast zoom effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.